Hey everybody, this is Fat Frog, and we've got a wild equus over here, and we just scared it, and that's not good, because we're going to show you how to tame one. Now, you can kind of sneak up uh, behind one, I do believe, with your armor on like this, but I think what we're going to go do is we're going to go head back to base and get our ghillie suit, because we don't want to spook this guy, because we're not going to be able to tame him um, while he's freaking out like this. Be right back. All right, we're back with the ghillie suit. So let's get to it and we'll tame an equus. So, okay, so we're gonna sneak up behind it here. Sneaky, sneaky, does it see me? Let's sneak up behind it. I don't know how important it is to sneak. So we're gonna feed it and it likes um, Trodon kibble, I believe, uh, vegetables and then medial berries after that. So we don't have any Trodon kibble, so we're gonna go with vegetables and I think any vegetables will work and I just happen to have long grass here so we're gonna go up behind we're gonna feed it then we're gonna ride it whoops and then I yeah we're gonna whoop no I scared him uh, I hit E and ejected myself and I think we're can I get up to him oh all right so I'm back on now he's going to ride around, and so we have to break him. It's kind of a really cool mechanic. All right, so I fed him, and now he's happy about that. So we've got taming of 1%. Taming effectiveness is 79.8, and that's probably because I accidentally ejected. So the kind of unfortunate thing here is that... Um, is that the same button to feed is also the same button to jump off so it's easy to make that mistake and then reduce your taming effectiveness now if we had the proper kibble um, we would be in much better shape and uh, but we don't uh, because trodons are really um, hard to tame I haven't bothered one I think you have to feed them like your own tame dinos which is kind of ridiculous and so what you can see what's happening here, um, if you noticed any way, uh, is over in the lower left hand corner we've got the effectiveness and the uh, taming effectiveness and whatever. And then a little message will show up to tell me to hit E to feed the equus. And so that's what I do. And then he makes the little bucking maneuver and then, um, and then runs off. So this Equus I um, picked up on my Quetzal and then dropped off here in the T-Rex taming pen. Um, because it's going to be much easier to um, to tame them in here than it is going to be out in the wild where it could be attacked by you know T-Rexes, Carnos, and any other manner of things. So the effectiveness right now with the uh, long grass here is 79.8%, and we're going to gain 37 uh, levels. Where our uh, wild level here is 95. This is a male Equus. Now. The feeding interval, I believe I have, for, I forgot to turn back down, and I think it is at three. So it's three times normal speed. And um, the uh, taming multiplier is at one. And uh, let's see, now we gotta feed him again. So we feed him, and then he'll buck, and then he'll run. But of course, he's running into this wall and not going anywhere. So we're only at 4%, um, but we're going, uh, what? And in a way, we're going three times the normal speed because he's eating three times faster. Um, and I'm a little worried that up on the top of the cliff there, there's a carno that's going to fall down here. Things usually don't fall down here, but they do sometimes. And so that's going to cause a major problem. So we're only at 4%. So if everything was on uh, vanilla settings, I think uh, I could look it up in the wiki but I think like a level 150 takes like 15 hours or something like that. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this is taking quite a while. We're only at 4% here. Um, and like I said, we do have that feeding interval turned up. So you think the Equus must be the most overpowered animal in the game because, <laughs> because you have to go through all these links. So it's super dangerous running around. I mean, if you're going to tame... A Bronto or something like that you can knock it down you can build a wall around it to protect it from wild creatures you can dose it up with narcotic and uh, while it's asleep you can do other things but here with this Equus we gotta sit here and ride it you know for the whole time I'm playing single player um, you know player versus environment obviously and uh, yeah this is gonna take just you know 
forever with the standard, uh, you know, settings. How could anybody, you know, do this um, on single player? So I could do this for a couple hours. Um, then oh, we're locked up. Then I could hit, um, you know, a, a day. And then I could hit, uh, you know, uh, X and go out of the screen, go about my real life, and then come back the next day. I wouldn't be sitting on the Equus again. And I could play, do that for another two hours and uh, so on for like seven days <laughs> in order to tame a max level Equus. So I don't think... Uh, I don't think this makes a whole lot of sense. I wish there was some different settings for, you know, uh, PVE um, and uh, and PVP. Because I know a lot of people are playing on uh, vanilla servers on PVE. And, you know, an Equus here is just uh, probably out of the question, I think, for a lot of people. And that's really unfortunate because, I mean, that's what ARC's all about, is testing out all these different dinos, having that opportunity without having to spend just crazy amounts of time. Now, I'm not really sure. Um, I haven't researched it that much to see just how powerful the Equus would be in uh, player versus player, but I, I can't imagine it's that powerful. I mean, I know you can um, lasso other players and stuff um, off the back here. Uh, at least that's the way it was sort of advertised, and I don't know how how really important that is, but uh, it must be a big deal if the developers thought it... Uh, it should uh, take so long. So uh, anyway, I'm going to do this for a little while longer, and then I'm going to give up and probably exit out and then crank up those settings again. Let's see if the taming effectiveness... Whoops. So every time I'm hopping off, you can see the taming effectiveness is uh, going crazy. And now I've been uh, knocked unconscious. And I think, what was the last time, taming effectiveness had already dropped down to 50% or so. So every time I would exit out and uh, and uh, and whatnot, the taming effectiveness would go down. So maybe I'm just going to say screw it with this guy. And I've already got a couple of guys I tamed up when I had cranked up the, uh, the levels... Uh, uh, quite a bit. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, I don't really need an Equus that badly. Um, where's my bear? There's my bear. You know, a real high level Equus that badly. And so I'm testing out this bear as a way of getting around. They're pretty fast once they get up and running and now with the flyer nerf um, might be a better option. The only thing is, is anytime you bump into something uh, then you stop and have to reset your speed. So let's go over here to where we've got Equuses that I tamed up already. Let's grab our bear. Come on, bear. Move. There we go, bear. Good bear. Alright, so we got our Equus over here. We got a level 44 and a level 14. The low, low level guys. Here they are. They're pretty cool looking zebra e kind of things um i'm not even sure what to pump on here um so this is one tamed out at level 44 we've got health is 672 stamina is 728 uh, let's see we got a weight of 385 melee damage is 179 percent and movement speeds 120 percent so this is just regular old walking this is sprinting not too bad for a level 44 and that is a stupid t-rex let's see what we got for t-rex here a level 110 that is a level no joke t-rex so before i take this equus out let's go take molly out molly should be able to handle this guy come on molly all right uh, just in case molly fails because things go awry in ARC quite frequently. All right, we'll take uh, Big Bear out here. Is that Little Bear? That's Little Bear. Come on out. There we go. Come on, Little Bear. All right. So let's go get this guy. Yeah, you're in trouble now, dude. Yeah, there have been so many T-Rexes uh, spawning on my island ever since this latest patch that delivered the Equus to us and uh, nerfed the heck out of Flyers. Is the bear doing anything? Sure is. Okay, cool. Come on, Rex. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. 
<laughs> that was hilarious. That is the biggest rag doll I have ever seen on this game. I don't even see the body anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, well, let's see if I can. One thing I wish they would change an arc is the turning radius of these stupid things. All right, let's see if I can sneak in to my little metal farming area. All right, where's the bear? Bear is having a hard time getting back in. Okay. Come on, bear. That's a good bear. Yes. Let's go back in here where it's safe. There we go. All right. So let's unfollow on the bear. I am going to switch back on to some regular armor here. So in case I get into trouble, I have some armor. Let's get the Equus going here. Oop. One thing I forgot to check if there's any saddles available for the Equus. Obviously, you can ride them without a saddle. Um, but it would be handy if we had a saddle. And I'm not seeing... Oh, I don't have a learned one. I'm looking for Ingrams. All right, now let's, let's search in the Ingrams Equus. Oh, yeah, Equus saddle. 22. Can only be crafted at the smithy. So let's uh, go do that. I'll be right back. We'll head... Now, can I eat berries? Yeah, I can. Let's get some food for our Equus. Um, so I'll be right back. I will go make a saddle real quick. And we'll see you then. Well, I thought I might as well bring you back and so we can see what it's going to take to craft up an Equus saddle. That's our Bezel Structure Inventory Crafting. Still getting used to this new UI here. So is this our Equus saddle? It is. We will need 200, or excuse me, 337. No, okay, here we go. We need 240 hide, 160 fiber, 120 wood, and 25 metal ingots. Not a problem to craft up one of those. So we'll go ahead and do that. And in a second, we will have a saddle. Now, I think I need to go into inventory. Now we will have some armor for our guy, and we can... Take it out. How much armor is it, by the way? 25 armor. I think that's pretty standard, isn't it? I don't know. Let's see. So we're going to sprint through the barn here. Head out the open door here. So I'm hoping the Equus um, kind of has a cool looking saddle, by the way. It's got like a bedroll or something on it. Probably the only thing in Ark that might actually had a saddle in real life. I like the cool mane on the guy. All right, I named him Stripey. So this is the walking speed, the little gallop or whatever. Now we're really running here. And we can jump right over the plant species X. Oh, that's a sweet jump. Makes a cool noise when it does so. Uh, we got stuck in the plants. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I think uh, we can bite, bite, we can kick. Kick. Do we have a C? I forget. C attack. Oh, I don't think it does anything, but it's cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, let's run around and see what we have for stamina real quick. We'll run around the barn. We're pretty slow, actually. I mean, it's not terribly slow, but, I mean, this is supposed to be uh, kind of a fast thing. And look, uh, Pego Max just attacked us. There's an egg of some kind. Probably a Pegomastix. So we're running around, and stamina doesn't seem to be bad at all. So we can run pretty far with the uh, standard stamina that we got up here. All right, let's stop up here, and I'm going to put some points into movement speed. All right, so now we're up to 132. He's happy about that. This is getting better. And jump. So I think probably by the time it's all said and done, uh, couldn't get back into the base, we'll probably be adding some stamina. Now, the back kick is supposed to do torpor damage like you saw it did to us a little while ago. It's probably going to kill this bloodied up parasaur uh, if I can get ahead of it. Yeah, we killed it, but it was almost dead anyway. How about you, guy? 
So probably if we wanted to use this to knock things out, especially a level 135 Iguanodon. Oh, we would probably need to get up melee damage. Okay, so that sucks up my stamina like crazy. So this is a big problem. So we're just gonna run away. We're gonna run out of stamina real quick. Good thing I got some plant species X here to help me out. All right, you stupid iguanodon. That would have been a good one for taming. But not anymore. So our stripey level 50 here had a big, well, what the heck? I guess one of my bullets must have hit this dude. Go down, Stego. Go down, Stego. Bonk. Brain you, Stego. I like those plant species X. Unfortunately, killed a bunch of Equus that I was trying to tame. Or was going to tame. But it's not a big deal. This is only level 40, or what? Was a level 44 or whatever it was when we started out. So I'm going to stick close to base here. Now, these guys usually have bad torpor. Torpor? Yeah. But he's off and running. So I don't know how effective this would be really against anything. I mean, other than maybe to do something like this, if this was a Carno, take that and then run away. <laughs> Excuse me. But I really don't see much point in it. Can we harvest any fiber or wood or anything? No. Yeah, we can get plenty of berries though. No fiber, just berries. Oh man, well, we'll see what our melee damage biting does here. Uh, pretty much nothing. Okay, we're killing soldiers now. No, we're not. Oh, come on. I don't want this to be a repeat of the Ovis. Oh, shoot! Okay, I've never done that before. What the? What is this, a super bug? Bug! Oh, it's a level 150, no wonder. Come on, Plant Species X. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, that was kind of a cool feature. Alright, so... My Equus is asleep. He's got a bug there. Alright, stupid Equus. Alright, let's see if this works. Does that have an effect? Um, I think it is. I'm not sure. Well, that's Mijo Berries. He's getting some food. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to wait for our Equus to wake up. Man, I've never seen uh, an animal do that before. I've never knocked one unconscious. And my leggings must not have been <laughs> very... Uh, had a whole lot of health left in them. Alright, so we're going to wake our Equus up. That's probably about it for the Equus, I think. Um, I'm not wearing any pants. Um, but I will stay here and guard my Equus, my poor little Equus, Stripey. There he is. Oh, he's eating in his sleep. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think about the Equus and its uh, its abilities. If you've used one, if you've been frustrated trying to tame one of these things. Whoa, he's awake! Ah, I better get him back so he can heal up. So yeah, leave a comment. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, thumbs up, and subscribe.